What's up guys, my name's Anthony and I make videos that I hope will teach and inspire you to make better videos. In the last video I did, I ran into an issue in Premiere where my audio wouldn't come out the normal way. I found a workaround in that video, but it took me a few days to actually figure out what was going on with it. So we're gonna jump in and show you what I did. This one is gonna be a short tutorial about how to fix audio problems in Premiere, well, specifically the audio problem where you can't get any audio out. So if you watched the last video I did, the shotgun mic shootout, you'll notice that when I put my video clips in there and then I tried to go back and listen to them, I got nothing, I got noise, basically. That noise was from me trying to turn my audio interface up. So I've reset my Premiere up to go through those troubleshooting steps that I took to figure out how to kind of work around that and also show you what was actually wrong with it. So let's go ahead and play this clip here. No audio. First things you want to do is to go to your audio panels. This is how it normally comes in. It usually defaults to the editing panel. So we're going to go over to audio panel and you just want to make sure that your master volume is all the way up. This is my master volume. You can tell it's master because it doesn't have an option for an output. If your slider on your master is down, you won't get any audio, but you also won't see this master over here having any energy in it. So if we turn that up, uh, just by double clicking on it to make it go to zero, you'll see this green light up again. So we know that there's audio coming out of our master channel, and that's the first thing you want to check. It's kind of like how you call the IT department and they tell you to unplug it and plug it back in. If you don't do that first step, everything else is, you, you know, you might be just pulling at straws that aren't there or something. If you've got your master channel up and you can make sure that all of the other sliders that need to be up are up, uh, that you have audio. Now, what you want to do is go into um, your Premiere Preferences. Uh, so go to Audio Hardware. This is where 90% of the problems are going to be for audio. You'll want to make sure that your input is on the microphone that you want to have going into your Premiere Pro. You want to make sure your audio output, your default output, is on the audio device that you have for your Premiere Pro. So if you're on your computer speakers, it's going to be your internal speakers. And if you're using an audio device like I am, it's going to be that audio device. Now, I'm not using the Zoom audio device, obviously. I'm using uh, the UMC 404 HD. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it there. And it's going to ask if I wanted to change this master clock, which I do, to be that output clock. So yes. Um, so 90% of the time, this is where um, your problem is going to be resolved. And if it is, great job. You can stop the rest of this video and move on. But let's play this and see what happens. <sighs> Same problem. And this is where I kind of gave up went to bed and woke up the next morning and found a workaround. My workaround was to go into Premiere Pro Preferences, Audio Hardware, and I mapped my output. Instead of going to the audio desktop, I went to the NDI outputs and chose OK. And then when I went to QuickTime, it gives you an option um, to do a screen recording where you can choose your audio input as that screen recording and I chose the NDI sources for that screen recordings input. I was able to kind of hear the output from Adobe through the screen recording which gave it a little bit of a delay actually and it was a, a lot tougher to edit because I couldn't tell that when I was talking it was a little bit off but that is a very roundabout way of fixing it. Let me show you the actual way to fix it. So we're going to go back in here and change that back first. So right there. And now if we go to playback, this is where it gives you a little bit more audio options and video options. Right now it's on NDI output and I don't know how that got changed, but that's where my audio was going out. From here, we'll just have to choose Adobe Desktop Audio, click OK, and now we'll have sound. Let me go back to the beginning of this video and... Nice. 
That video is from my Daniel Schiffer tripod only challenge, which is up on my Instagram right now. Um, go check it out if that's something you're into. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it or if it helped you, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. That's it for this video, guys. See you in the next one.